production is nothing but an outdoor production where we are going to a location and we are shooting something which can be an event which can, which can be a news if it is a studio production generally within the studio the event happens and that we record for the transmission if it is a live or maybe a offline program but when a event takes place within the studio floor and if we are recording that it is called studio production so if you see the field productions there are two types of field productions are there one is eng second one is efp so eng is nothing but electronic news gathering efp is electronic field production the eng and efp is taking place in a outdoor location most of the multi camera productions are studio based except sports matches so almost all the sports matches are field based productions where we are using multiple cameras at a time to capture the event if you see the electronic news gathering technique eng generally eng is nothing but when we are using a camera to record an event for the purpose of news gathering is called electronic news gathering most of the time electronic news gathering where you want to record you are using a single camera but sometimes depending on the kind of program you are covering generally you may also use multiple cameras for the purpose of news gathering in a eng news gathering technique the television reporter and along with the camera person is going to the spot to cover the event and sometimes nowadays with the technology available the television news reporter himself is acting as as a camera person also and covering the news most of the time if you see the efp electronic field productions are multi camera field based productions eng is a most of the time a single camera production it is also a field production or outdoor production depending on whether you are going on live or whether you are going to cover a beat it is going to transmit later after the recording etc based on that you are using a ob van or sng van for the purpose of covering the beat in live for example if you are covering uh, uh, something an event etc for the purpose of news magazine so in those cases what happens generally the television news reporter goes to the spot or the location or a field then he he records some visuals for the news magazine and then that is been sent to the concerned television uh, organization and where the original footage whatever is captured by the television news reporter is edited and where the narration if it is there they can add the narration and sometimes the bites of the persons who are present on the location etc are added and everything is mixed and then that is been transmitted for the audience later so that is a kind of offline based program it is the field based productions generally takes place in real life settings but if you are covering a news event generally a single camera and a microphone and basic light if you have a ng kind of news gathering can be recorded the advantage of electronic news gathering and uh, electronic field production generally you can avoid huge rentals which we pay for the studio floor we have uh, two kinds of news gatherings one is a uh, covering a scheduled beat and the other one is covering a unscheduled beat so most of the engs are covering unscheduled beats but if it is a uh, scheduled beat generally efp is a, a technique where we used to capture the visuals from the location if it is a multi camera production efp kind of thing multiple cameras you need for the purpose of capturing uh, the event but if it is a news generally one camera is enough to capture the news if it is offline program it's okay uh, a television reporter himself sometimes gathers the news he sends the footage to the concerned news station and there it can be edited and in some other cases the television reporter himself edits the story and that is been sent back 
concerned television news station generally a reporter has four choices one is uh, if it is a offline kind of program etc then he may send the footage to the concerned television news station but if it is live generally sng van or ob van is used by the television news reporter to cover the news so what is sng sng is nothing but satellite news gathering so uh, the sng van or dsng van is equipped with uh, some facilities like a small production control room where it can accommodate two, two three cameras output and uh, audio mixer from different channels and there is also a preview monitor and also a program monitor so all this cameras output is connected to the vision mixer and from the vision mixer whatever you are choosing for your uh, transmission like if it is live generally that is been uh, selected by the director or the person who is sitting in that kind of sng van then that is going to be aired uh, for the audience in live so the output whatever is selected uh, it is recorded in the vtr and that is been consent to the concerned earth station earth station or teleport is something where the programs are uplinked so each channel or a television news channel uh, will have their own teleports or earth stations so from the earth station the programs or the output signal is uplinked to the satellite then from there we can receive the programs the programs if it is a you are using a cable connection etc the programs are downlinked at the mso multi system cable operators office uh, from there maybe you are having uh, local cable operators and if you see the direct to home technology dth etc from the satellite again you may get the live programs uh, sometimes sometimes there is a new technology called uh, mobile videos in this kind of technology generally the television reporter is in uh, touch with the concerned news channel the television channel shows the photograph of a person who is reporting from the spot and a p2c is delivered by the concerned television channels news reporter and that is being aired in live using so electronic field production so electronic field production uses both eng and studio based techniques to produce a program it can be a live it can also be a offline program sports matches are electronic field productions and they use OB van transmit the programs in live. So generally, uh, EFP also a outdoor program. When compared with the ENG, EFP uses more cameras. When you compare with the ENG, ENG can be handled with only one camera if you have one microphone and uh, enough light is there on the shooting spot, etc. That can be managed. But if it is a EFP, you need more lights. In the location, if the event is happening during the night, etc., and you have to have the number of cameras to record the event, and you also should have uh, the OB van. But SNG, if you compare with the OB, SNG technology, maybe uh, you get only output of two, three cameras that can be accommodated in uh, the SNG van. But if it is a OB, there is a wall of monitors. You may have a number of connections. So, for example, if it is uh, 16 cameras are there to Petra, suppose if it is a sports match, that all that can be accommodated in the OB. And so you will see a kind of uh, wall of monitors. We are using three cameras uh, for the purpose of capturing the event. The three cameras output is recorded on the VTR and that can be the output signal using the transmitter and the dish that can be transmitted in live. So OB van, uh, if you see, it is a uh, part of any uh, ENG or EFP electronic field production. So uh, a typical uh, OB van is divided into three parts. The first part is where the 
director along with the technicians are sitting the second part is where the audio is managed where the audio engineer is sitting and he is looking after the audios from different channels the third one is where uh, you have a video library along with that you also have uh, on the roof of the any ob1 you have a dish and also the high power amplifier which is connected to the dish and that is helping to send the output signal from the ob1 to the satellite the first part of the ob1 where the uh, producer or the director of the program who is uh, taking care of all the event to be captured for the purpose of transmission he is looking after the entire team he is giving instructions to the persons who are sitting along with him and to the persons who are uh, there on the location where the efv kind of news event is happening so the camera output is coming to here where the, the director or the producer is sitting there you may see uh, a wall of monitors the uh, monitors are getting the footage from the cameras so the output whichever is whatever is coming from the cameras are connected here with the vision mixer and here the director or the producer he may be choosing uh, different visuals for the purpose of transmission and that is been recorded in the ptr so here along with that he may also have a preview monitor and also a program monitor along with the director there are maybe persons who are sitting graphic engineers etc they are the one designing graphics for the program so here if you see the preview monitor which will show the shots which are selected by the director or the producer director and the program monitor as uh, shows the feed which is mixed with the original footage and also the graphics which are generated by the graphic engineer that is been added so then that is going to be recorded on the vtr then if you see uh, the sound uh, part of the ob1 where the sound engineer audio engineer is sitting and he is getting all the audios from the location for example if it is a sports match generally the commentators etc they are maybe giving the voice that is coming to the ob1 there are different cameras which are connected with different audio cables that is also getting to the sound engineer where he is uh, also having audio mixer for the purpose of program he also may be having a monitor which shows the whatever is output which is coming from this production room from the director's place so here the audio engineer can see the output which can be going to be transmitted for the audience and for the purpose of that based on the directions he may be choosing the audio which is suitable for the video and that is going to be recorded along with the visuals so if it is a sports match then we also have a video library where the the tapes of the previous matches and slow motion software is also there if you want to uh, play these things in between uh, when the live transmission is happening that can be accommodated and along with that in your video library you may also have tapes of commercials which are to be aired when the live transmission is taking place so ob1 will have all these facilities along with that on the roof of the ob1 there is a dish and there is also a high power amplifier so there is a satellite engineer within the studio who is looking after sending the output from this ob1 to the satellite if you see the sng kind of technology where the output signal is uh, sent to the concerned channels teleport and from there the program is uplinked but if you see in a ob1 kind of technology from this ob1 the output signal is directly transmitted to the satellite and from the satellite the programs are the output signal is downlinked at the concerned channels 
earth station and then from this earth station the visuals uh, the output signal which is transmitted from the obey van and along with the footage which they get from the concerned television channel that both are mixed and that is been transmitted in live the requirements of any electronic field production the requirements are first is the cameras generally high quality cameras are used for the purpose of capturing the event second thing is the vision mixer the camera output is connected to the vision mixer where the producer or the director will choose visuals which can be going to be recorded for the audience then there is a audio mixer that enables the audio engineer to choose output of different channels which are getting from the cameras or from the location along with uh, audio mixer you may or you need to have different mics or the microphones a microphone may be omnidirectional bidirectional unidirectional or anything bidirectional microphones uh, catches sound from two directions and unidirectional is catches sound from only one direction omnidirectional microphone catches sound from all sides depending on your event you may be using different mics you also need lights along with that you also have need monitors to see the footage which you are getting from the cameras vtrs video tape recorders to record the final footage and you also need a power generator or a which can supply power during the event then you may also need uh, intercom intercom facilitates uh, two way communication between the persons who are uh, placed at different places and they are recording the event so all these facilities are needed for the electronic field production if it is a efp kind of production if it is happening somewhere if you want to see the process or a site survey is being conducted so most of the time if it is uh, the director the production manager production assistants producer etc they will go to the location where the event is going to happen then they will write down what are the problems they may arise during the shoot so generally based on that uh, site survey a sketch or a floor plan is being designed the sketch will guide the persons during the shoot uh, it also helps the director the production personnel who are going to be there during the shoot that also helps them to know where the event is happening where the cameras are to be placed if there are uh, not enough light is there then what kind of lights they have to take along with them cameras where they have to fix and where are the other facilities are available etc so uh, if it is a sports match to cover in live etc a lot of pre plan is required before it you are going to shoot the event